I spent my life taking orders! Now it's my turn to decide. My name is David Cage, I'm the writer and director of uh, Detroit. It's been just over an hour since a little girl was taken hostage on the top floor of a building here in downtown Detroit. So Detroit is a neo-noir thriller set in the near future in the city of Detroit. And uh, in this world, technology made possible the creation of androids that look, speak, move exactly like human beings. And they have replaced humans in most of their jobs. Well, the existence of androids uh, is, um, creates a very ambiguous situation and relationship with humans because at the same time, humans become very dependent on these androids because they do all types of jobs in society. There are workers, there are nurses, there are teachers. So we really need them to do these jobs. But at the same time, there's a very high level of unemployment. But androids are absolutely not considered in this society. They are just machines, they are just objects, and they are treated as such. And when the story starts, some of these androids start to have strange behaviors. Uh, they start to disappear without any reason or even start being aggressive towards humans. It's as if they were overwhelmed with their own emotions. Don't come any closer, or I'll jump! In Detroit, we play more than one character. So we introduce the character of Kara at Paris Games Week with playable character. Uh, and here at E3, we wanted to come with a playable scene just to show how the game plays. And uh, we introduce another character. His name is Connor. And uh, Connor is a very uh, advanced prototype uh, of Android. Uh, it was designed to help human investigators uh, working on cases involving deviant androids. He can, you know, analyze a crime scene, he can detect clues, he can recoup things, he's equipped with uh, ballistics, you know, he can just detect a bullet and rebuild where it came from. He is really cold, very smart, very clever, uh, and he's only driven by one thing, it's accomplishing his mission at any price. You lied to me, Connor. All our characters are real people. We do a casting session and uh, we find the right actor for the role and then we scan his face in 3D, scan his body, recreate his avatar, get him on set in um, performance capture and record his performance. We wanted to push the limits with uh, Detroit and have an engine that would offer us some um, more features regarding cinematography in particular. So we wanted to work on uh, uh, realistic lighting especially. So we redeveloped entirely a new engine from scratch pretty much. We also work on physical cameras, uh, having virtual cameras that work pretty much the same way than real cameras. We worked on skin shaders, we worked on air shader, eyes shaders. We worked on translucency, which allows you to, when you have a strong light behind you here, see that your ear becomes red. We play with all these technologies and players don't need to care about all this because it's just interesting for geeks and, and developers. But actually, we really enjoy doing these things and we hope that players, even if they are, they are not interested in the technology behind all this, will like the results on screen. Well, the script of Detroit is thousands and thousands of pages and it's really a, a complex script in many ways. From the very first scene, very first second of the game, you start to see things having consequences in the scene and maybe beyond the scene. And uh, of course, as you move on in the story, it becomes more and more complex. We tell different individual stories from different androids and they start as, as separate stories, but of course there will be a point where they will connect and interlace and tell you the big story. Uh, and uh, it makes things even more complex for me as a writer, but hopefully more exciting also for the player in the end. My name is Connor. This is our story. Play station.